We've got Strawberry Festival going on. This is the uh, biggest event that we do every single year at Parks and Rec. We're really excited about it for this weekend going on Friday and Saturday both days. Uh, we're setting up right now for our first event that's kind of going to be going on Friday during the day. We'll have Senior Day going on from 10 to 2 and we actually have uh, the Commission on Aging that's going to be partnering with us, uh, getting their senior centers involved, our City Parks and Recreation Senior Center involved, uh, everybody coming together for some music. We have free lunches for the first 300 seniors that will show up. Uh, different bingo games and a lot of great prizes that the seniors are going to want to be a part of. We do. We have our Park and Rec Director Nathan Anderson. Christy Turner is here with us. Wendy Williams. She is the uh, market manager here at the Farmer's Market. Uh, a lot of good people over here also from the... Uh, folks from the Commission on Aging. Yes, here. Commission on Aging. Those folks have been uh, integral in making this event happen with the Senior Day right here. This is the first time we've actually partnered with them to make this event happen here at the Fest Hall. So we're really excited to have them on board. They've been a great partner with us to put this on. Well, it may be a little bit rainy, and again, for Senior Day, we're right here under the Farmer's Market the entire time. And actually, I think tomorrow, Tim, uh, Friday afternoon, we're really kicking the event off at 3 o'clock for just the general public, and it'll go from 3 to 10. And I think tomorrow afternoon, the uh, rain's probably going to let up. We'll have some better weather. So really, it should still be a good afternoon for everybody to come out. We'll have all kinds of stuff going on around Depot Park. Uh, the streets will be closed off with all the activities and things going on starting Friday afternoon. All right, Wade, we're at Depot Park. We what are. What happens here? We've got a huge craft show that's going to be going on behind me Friday afternoon starting at 3 o'clock to 9 o'clock on Friday night, all day long on Saturday from 7 a.m. to 10 p.m. So all day long, uh, we've got 125 different vendors, lots of different things going on. This is the biggest craft show that actually happens in Coleman uh, by the number of vendors. So we're really excited about that. This is also free admission to uh, the craft show and all the general events here other than there's a couple of kids games that might uh, charge some activities, food trucks and things like that. But for the most part, this is all a completely free event. So. We do. We do. We have a lot of people coming into town, which is a really, really good thing because I think that's one of the things that makes Strawberry Festival so big, uh, especially the state track meet, having people come from all across the state, staying here in Coleman. Uh, you know, they're staying for a couple of nights, and a lot of them were really impressed. Uh, we had this huge, big uh, festival going on a couple of blocks away from the state track meet. So it's a great opportunity for them to come out and enjoy some of the strawberries, the kids' activities, the craft show, car show, uh, live music, all of the events that we have going yeah, on. We have so. And also, we've got a schedule, Tim, on our, our Facebook page, actually on our website, too, of all the activities when they're going on and that sort of thing. The Kid Zone is actually going to be right across the street from where we're standing out here at Depot Park in the Economic Development parking lot. A lot of cars over there right now, but we'll pretty soon start taking that down, uh, putting some inflatables up. We've got a bunch of different kids rides, activities, games that'll be going on right there, as well as some food trucks around there. And that will be available the entire festival, again, 3 to 10 on Friday and 7 a.m. to 10 p.m. on Saturday. So what are we going to have? We're going to have a lot of, basically anything Strawberry Festival, you, uh, you know, strawberries you can think of to tie in with the Strawberry Festival. We'll have strawberry shortcake, strawberry ice cream, homemade strawberry ice cream. Uh, different strawberry shakes, strawberry drinks, daiquiris, margaritas, uh, anything strawberry you can think of, it'll pretty much be available here for you Friday and Saturday. We are actually going to be doing something a little bit new this year uh, with the Strawberry Festival. We're going to be adding the car show right down here through the Warehouse District on First Avenue. So the street will be closed off. We'll completely have all of the cars lined up down here, and the uh, businesses will actually be staying open late on Saturday for shopping. So the car show is going to be going on from 3 to 10 p.m. on Saturday, uh, and the warehouse businesses will all be open during that time frame as well. So we're very excited about that. As most people know, the Warehouse District, uh, the street in front of us, has been closed off First Avenue uh, for some time. Uh, for the past couple of weeks due to the fact that they've kind of made this an open pedestrian area on Saturdays. So that will be the same thing on Saturday this week. Uh, just kind of at the end of that, around 3 o'clock, we'll continue to keep the street closed off and start bringing cars in to park them for Strawberry Festival. Oh, so. oh yeah, definitely. <laughs> now, what are you guys doing special at Karma's? Oh, we're doing a strawberry lemonade, and it partners very well with the strawberry lemonade popcorn over at Colonel Coleman. I've never heard of strawberry lemonade popcorn Dude. before. Dude, <laughs> you need to check it out.